G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to Forever Skies, the new survival game where you build yourself a blimp and try to sail over the top of the apocalypse that so far has really tickled me pink. I am loving my time in Forever Skies at the moment, but as much as I have been loving it, my blimpy boy over here isn't quite cutting the mustard anymore. It's not quite as good as I need it to be. In fact, to the point where, because of my lack of lift, I, um, I've had to remove almost all of my different stations and stuff in here just to replace it with storage. I needed to take everything out and fill it with boxes because it is time to upgrade. It is time to turn this ship into a monolith, better befitting me. So that's why I needed all the materials in there. Time to take this from a little single ship, a little... I don't know, Caravan of the Skies to a proper cruiser. Between the last episode and now, I have been a very busy pilot of the Dusty Skies. I've gone through and bounced across almost every one of these little icons I could find. My screen's kind of wigging out there a little bit. All of those icons to try and find the schematics that I need. And very importantly, I found, where I are in here, I found window walls. So I can now build some windows to look out of. These uh, yellow caution tapes actually aren't windows at all. They're just warning you that you will fall to your death through there. So potentially keeping myself from falling a ridiculous height is a pretty good idea. What else have I got? I've got plastic walls, metal floors. I've also got this cool looking thing, a viewing corner. Sounds bloody lovely. A bigger cockpit. I mean, who doesn't love a bigger cockpit? Uh, what else? Got short railings, catwalks, and I can expand my balloon. So that's what I'm going to be doing first: getting myself some extra lift, some extra hot air, and then building all the hard stuff underneath. I don't really understand the difference here. I mean, one says it's going to add another balloon course, so I assume it means like another balloon is going to get like stuck to the side of like those like sticky hands you used to get at the showgrounds. So like one's an extra balloon core, another one's just an expand balloon. That says to say gives me plus 400, whereas you give me plus 500. I, I don't know. Maybe we'll just try them both. In fact, before I do that, then what do I need? I need synthetics, helium, and copper. Helium, machine parts, and copper. Okay, well, I've got bulk copper in here, so give me all of you. I should have helium in one of these boxes. I know I need synthetics as well. I need... I've got helium fuel. I'll leave that there for now. Where's... Where's my tanks of helium? I've got so many bloody boxes. I'm struggling to remember what I actually need. You come with me. Uh, I need the glass as well. I don't know. Machine parts. Those can come with me as well. Where did I leave my tanks of helium? I know I've got them somewhere. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There you are. There you are. Nice. Inventory full, but that's okay. Right. Extra balloon core. Oh, you're a... Yeah, you're big. You're big and look very floaty. It's just like, it's a whole other ship. How do I, how do I attach you then? Well, in that case, I'll just grab my expand balloon option and... Oh, 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 you've been taking some blue pills there, haven't you, champion? You've definitely kind of elongated just that little bit. But I still want to chuck that balloon core over here. Do I have to, like, build horizontally out and then attach it from underneath? I reckon I might do it. If I get an extra cord, I'm going to spend all my healing right now. It's, it may be safer than a hydrogen, but still no smoking on this, please. Are you trying to kill us all? So if I put another core, then extend it, that should give me all the lift that I need to build all the things that I want. Plus, extra girth means that my new big cockpit, you, that looks too wide, you need some medals. You need some medals. I'm going to quickly investigate you and see how you are. Give me you and you. Thank you. How actually do you look? Yeah, you are too wide. Well, how am I going to center that then? Quickly just chuck my lure off the side again. Go get me some lunch, please, because Smoko is not too far away. You, give me the fuel, and then I'll just take you off. Ooh. You're real, you're real messy. You're real messy. There you go. A couple of sparky boys, but you're all sorted now. I'll take you back as well. I'm not particularly a high up, so this shouldn't be too much of an issue. Bigger issue is just the fact I'm running out of space. All right. So I want to grab a room like you. Uh, in the middle, I suppose. Yeah, okay. So I go like one here. Boop. And then another one there. Boop. Is that still not far enough to add an extra blimpy boy? 
I need more synthetics. Always need more synthetics, damn. I might have done that wrong, actually, because look, that's where the clamp is for that front part. Whereas if I go back into this and look at the balloon boy again. Yeah, I think I've done that wrong by building the rooms a bit too far back. Can I removal mode? Yeah, okay. Can I take all the resources back? Do I get the same stuff back as before? I hope so. 30, 30 synthetics and 15 metals. If I'm building you, though, what do you, what, what do you need? What do you take off me? You. 30, 15. Okay, so I think that actually works out fine. You can now go. I'm going to grab all the stuff off here and try to expand from that bit instead. It's all... A, you brought up nothing? Oh, hang on. No, hang on a second. Hang on. I was cooking stuff. All right, you're fine. You. I've got no space. Hold on a second. Jeez, it goes quick. There was actually another thing that I've added in here that I'm very excited about. I now have my tool charger up and on the wall. So my scanner is now properly charged. I do have two of them, but that's okay. You live and probably don't learn. You, come with me. Remove mode. Take away you and you. And the door as well. The door can stay there. The door can stay there for now. That's all good. Blocked by environment. Ugh, hang on. Yeah, no, I know you're thirsty, but I'm really kind of living on the edge over here. I might actually just pick you up and move you back a little bit. Trying to build stuff right on the edge of death is not a great plan. So I guess it needs to be four wide, because if I have it four wide like that, that means those middle two can be the cockpit, the new double wide cockpit, which I'm very excited about. That looks a whole lot better. I'm missing my healing him, and I've left that back up in my ship. All right, hold on a second. Oh, that's sketchy. I can't. Oh, it kind of wants to. It wants to. Oh, this is dicey. I need to get back up on my ship. I've, I've left it up in the sky. All right, hang on. Hang on. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay. Let's not park it like that again. That was daft. There we go. That's now got to attach. And more importantly, it's even with the other side. Can I even get an extra expansion going? Just need some machine parts. And I can. I'm using all of my healing. But you know what? I feel like that's probably a good use of them. Machine parts, yeah, there you are, just there. Nice, grab an extra extension, and boop. Now you match, look at this. Look at this behemoth. There will be a shadow cast over all the decayed buildings, but not by the clouds anymore. Nah, by this big sausage. I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna chuck in my new and improved cockpit. Look at the size of the gantry on this bad boy. Oh, we! I like everything that you're doing for me. I've already burned through so much of my materials as well. You, please come with me. Nice. Gonna put you right smack dab right in the middle. I would really like for my floors to be glass again, but we'll get there in a moment. That looks good to me. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the view we have now. Oh, this gets me feeling things. I can't put the glass floor in because it's blocked by the equipment. All right, hang on a second. I take it back. I'll just take you back into my pocket. Glass and then glass. Nice. And you can sit nice and happily right in the guts of all ears. That's so good. That's so good. The only thing I don't like, and I kind of wish I could build something about it. Maybe I can later on, but I would love to have some sort of pillar or something I can build onto, like something here to put like my radar and stuff onto. I really liked having my little uh, my little control stick here. I'd better look around and look at you. And we got real janky around those storage boxes, but look at you while I'm flying. Now I've lost that. I suppose I could just chuck you on the wall over there, but it's a long way to reach. Look how big this joint is now. It's so big. I could put it like smack dab right in the middle of my viewpoint, but that would be silly. Can I go... I suppose, like, maybe, maybe like that. It's way off center, but you kind of see what I mean. So when I'm flying, looking around, I can, oh, actually, maybe. Hang on a second. Give me that one back, then. Let's move you back a little bit, because I have to be right on the very nose of the ship to fly it. I'll take you back as well and move you. Oh, I wish there was a better spot for you. I want to be right in the middle, though. So, like, there. So when I'm flying, I can see everything. I can look around. And that's my raid. I don't look up there very much at all, actually. That's not too bad. I kind of like that. I want to have my first look at this viewing corner as well. I'm flying a big cube, so wouldn't mind having a gander at you. What? What? Why is there... What? Hmm. Why have you done that? That's not quite what I had in mind. Although... Actually, you know what? I take it back. I take it back. You. Come back with me. I'm going to put that viewing corner... 
instead of this bit. Now, I need to keep it there for me because that's where the blimp is attached to. Oh, this might be... This might be a bit dicey. All right, hang on a second. If I go room, and then room, and then run out of resources at the very end, I'm missing plastic and metal. All right, hold on a second. We've got plenty of that all around the joint. Yum, metal, yum, plastic. Nice, and I'll put another room over here. Does that mean I can just like, can I replace that with a viewing room? No. I could out the very side. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. It's going to be dangerous. Please don't break. Cannot remove. Because up there's are still attached. Oh, do I have to get rid of the whole blimp entirely? Yes, I know I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty for views. Now that I've got some extra lift ability, I need to go through all my boxes again. And I need one of you. Try and find wherever the dickens I have left my water condenser. There you are. Take my rainy boy as well, because why not? Chuck it back out in here. One can go there, and the other one can go just there for now. Nice. Get me some more fluids. So how am I going to make this work? How am I going to make this work? Or do I need to break down the cockpit and extend that out past, or a little bit further out, and then put the, the viewing corner there? Because if I can't detach this in the blimp... That might be my only option. It might be my only option. All right, everything that I just put down, come back to me. It's still essentially the same ship. It feels the same, but I can now stand a bit further back and look out over yonder. Now that you're there, though, give me you. Viewing corner. Rotate around. Smack it on. You no longer have that stupid bloody door. Oh, that's why. Because you've got, like, the girder there. You couldn't undo it. All right, well, <laughs> this is a bit sketchy, but... We now have a corner to view things with. Good as. Let's go find all of my modules that I chucked away. But, yeah, nah, so far, this has come together nicely. I thought I was so overprepared for this, but I've already almost used all of my synthetics. I'm going to have to go fishing for a whole bunch more. You chuck another window wall, though, so we can see what you look like, because you look freaking fantastic. Oh, so many windows. So many bloody windows. Nice. Good. I'm getting tired running around in circles on my own ship. You're almost empty. You're not really empty. Okay, hang on a second. You're good. So I can take you with me. Start clearing out this side as well. Requires dirty water. I think that means that you're good to take. You are. I'll take the football off the well off the wall as well. And my lantern. Nice. I just need to empty out a couple of you. Take that. I don't... Nah, you're still overlapping. That's fine. I'll find homes for you, though. Ooh, we're cooking along. We're cooking! Break down my old cockpit. It's been... Ooh, I've got no inventory space. I'm... Chockers with Sutton. All right, hang on a second then. I'll find some space to chuck that extra battery I'm holding on to. There you go. You can have you. Anything else through here? I've got so much metal. It's just the synthetics that are going to cost me. You. Boop. Gone, and then I want to put in another viewing corner like you. Oh, we're really starting to get some expanses now. Look how much it's grown already. I still like the idea of having this little catwalk out on the side. In fact, you are pretty good to go. I'll do some fluids out here. Give me both of you. I'll take all of that that I can. Wait, can I? You've definitely already got fluids in you. I don't know why you're being so difficult, but all right, I'll get you another membrane then if that's what you really, really want. Like your zigzag -zig arm. You come with me. Whack you back in. You've got my filtration system back online again. But I like the idea of having this catwalk out here to the point where, as the storm rages outside, I'm going to grab you back like that. I'm going to chuck in a door. Door. Yep, you. Nice. And on the outside of you, just like before, build a couple of catwalks because I still need door guns. I need to get in and out of the body joint. Although you just want to place it inside. Hang on a second. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was after. Some catwalks on the outside. Oh, the gods are mad. The gods are mad, but get fucked, gods. I can fly now. I'm going to come up there and spit in your face. All my building has led to my builder tool being oh, out of battery. Being out of battery? That's not the right way to say that, but you know what I mean. I've left my battery charger in here somewhere. You, and I'll set the battery with you as well. Nice. Whack it up on the wall so I can start building some things. Just... Place on your airship. It is on my airship. It's fine. Over there then. That'll do for now. You. Battery. Well, I already have the battery. Actually, tool charger in. 
You've already got all the battery from last time. You didn't lose the battery when I took you off the wall. Nice, Gary. You're getting some sizzle back in your step. And, well, I'm trying to not get sizzled by the sky. We've got some new engines crafting up while I'm waiting for my thing to charge. You're at 60%. You, yep, just over the top. Hard to read. Let's get right up close and push your nose into it. While I'm waiting, though, nothing really to research, nothing to upgrade. Got a spare engine in you, too. Lots of metals, lots of empty containers. I thought I had so much stuff and immediately started building, and suddenly, very abruptly, barely had anything. I suppose while I'm waiting for it, I could probably have a cheeky little kip, given that is my worst stat at the moment. Number four. Short, that'll do. I'll pick you back up and slap you down somewhere better once I'm done building. But so far... Well, we've gone from having one little, like, oh, so one by four little caravan to the sky into some big, squarey behemoth. I don't have any, like, angled blocks or anything or anything fun to really utilize for that, so it's just going to be what it is. I guess you're going to stay there for now at the moment. Do I have... Where's my little lurey thing? Got my fishing rod. Nothing. Mm, another engine in there. No, not you either. What the bleeding neck have I done with it? I didn't think I chucked it anywhere weird. There you are. There you are. Nice. I can grab you. Which side's off the side? I think that side's off the side. So here you go. You can have that. You can also take that off me. Catch you later. Go catch me some breakfast. Airship builder's now charged. Thank you. Good to have you back in me slimy little hands. So what now? You need to have a window wall. You are blocked by equipment. All right, hang on a second. I'll grab you back and then chuck you in. So that means at the moment, everything matches. I've got my cockpit up here. I've got this little area all working fine. Mm, I don't... See, this is the thing. If I could get like a triangle room or something, just like a little corner piece to go between them, I'd be happy just having like this amount of space because let's be honest, this game is gorgeous and this would feel about right. But that's not really an option. So instead, I need... A oh my God, 30 more synthetics. And oh, I could make a two-story. I would like to make a two-story and go down a level, but I feel like expanding outward first, then down is the better move. I'm going to need so much more stuff to do that. If I'm going to run out of materials that quickly, because I've used all of my polymers at this point, my synthetics, that's the the right tool with the wrong spot, I reckon. Oh, you going to work? I've only got one engine left on you. I mean, look, you're not super stoked about it, but I think this will work. I'm going to head back, as I check my radar up here, head back into the city proper, because I just feel like there was more gubbins in the air. Look at all that. Look at that. That's what I need. That's what I need. I need all of you to come be my friend, please. But I have no door gun on that side. Could you all just go to the right-hand side, please? Okay, hang on. Hang on a second. Let's just get you up. Lock in that speed. You come with me. I'm going to go whack you on the other side. You, come with me, please. Number five, and put your... Um, yep, yeah, right there. All right, let's get ourselves some synthetics. They're everywhere out here. That big tangle of whatever over there, I think, is actually the place I'm supposed to be... Oh, I was like... Oh, hang on a second. Why can't I see where I'm going? Oh, look at that. This is why you needed the viewing corner, but also the bigger cockpit. But yeah, that exclamation mark over there is that big tangly thing, which is looking very ominous. Not really somewhere I want to go and hang out in. It's like the elephant's graveyard of uh, Forever Skies. One of you. One of you come closer because I need more of that. That light's still blinking. I haven't been there before. I probably could have gone like popped in and said g'day. Oh, no, nah, it's too late now. Too late now. It's already gone. I'm just on the hunt for plastics. I'm almost to the big spoke to what used to be the city, but we're taking our time. But I've got one engine going at the moment, so I'm nice and slow. Give me plenty of time to grab all of the things jutting up from the dust down there. A couple of bits of metal here and there won't hurt, but most importantly, all of you. Look at that. That's a cheeky quaddy. Cheeky quinny. Ooh. Yeah, no, nah, I'm getting thirsty, but that's all fine. While I'm flying, then, let's just increase my room just that bit more. Boop, boop. A little bit of lag, but that's okay. That's now the same length. Not enough resources to continue out that way. God, I wish there was an angular piece. I really do. Oh, I could do the viewing corners, but it looks silly like there. This will do it just fine here, I think. Gonna drop it on down, unlock my autopilot, and just let everything come on past me. I've got the wind at my back as well. Oh, there you go. Maybe if I was just like facing forward. 
or maybe even backwards. I'm not sure. They're also coming out from underneath me. I might have misjudged this slightly, but that's okay. I can at least rectify the problem. Grab some of you. Grab some of you. They're everywhere. They're everywhere, though. There's so many resources out here to gather up. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to live life large and somewhat on the edge. Look at all Look at all that plastic coming through. Look at all that plastic coming through. Hang on a second. I was going to say live large and doing bold things, but just going to grab this entire jackpot of plastic goodness making its way past my bow. No, inventory full. Okay, I'm chock-a-block full of metal because what I was going to do is grab you and chuck in... A lot. Do you only go down? You only go down? Look, the, the hatch is at the top. Oh, sorry. No, you only go up is what I mean. Um, That's not quite what I was hoping for. Can I build things up here? I don't, I don't even know if I can. Um, Room? No. Okay, so I guess I need to start from the bottom then. I need to build underneath, attach the, the ladder thing underneath my ship to build something underneath there. Because I want to build like a bedroom down below. Might more hmm, okay. Okay, I need to reevaluate some things, but also continue gathering. If I need to build things underneath my ship, I'm going to go plonk myself down on whatever this joint is. I've been here before. All the glass and all the metal and stuff has all been taken, which is fine. Communication point reached. Oh, now I'm completely out of fuel. I'm... Uh, hang on. Hang on a second. My one little puttering engine over here has run out of gusto. I had some fuel in here somewhere. Got a million bloody boxes. There's the fuel. Here you go, you thirsty twit. Take that off me. And that off me. I just need to put you over somewhere over here so I can start building even more. Look how big it's gotten already, though. I love it. You know, like in uh, in the Subnautica expansion when you can build yourself the um the sea trucks, it feels like that, but way more customizable in just the right way. So I've dropped on down, build the room there like I wanted to originally, then a ladder room blocked by environment. Um, right, okay, but I can build it like you. Okay, that's not especially awful. It's a little janky doing this, but my frame rate's not chugging too bad. But that, that is the way they wanted it there, wasn't it? I'm going to put the ladder at the back. I think, or I want, like, abutting ladders. I reckon, like... I reckon abutting ladders. I'll go like you. I can't strike the other one in because I'm just a little bit too low. But I can now climb up and in. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh. That's not perfect. What the shit happened to you? I've now got my little ladder down below my actual ship. So my footprint's even bigger again. But now from here... What do you need? You need a bunch more synthetics, right? Hold your horses in. I'll get a whole bunch more. Because if I can make myself a cheeky little viewing area down there, any uh, any plastics at all? Anywhere? Anywhere at all you want to give me? Any freebies? Mm, no, I have to go looking for a little... Oh, there's some. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. The game started pumping. That was a little... Oh, that's a little bit weird. Hang on, let me go back inside. Something over there doesn't like me very much. I'll stop looking in that general direction. I've apparently broken my water distiller over here because I can't either empty you nor use you nor do anything with you. So I've just shit out of luck on that one. Grab that. I needed what? Like another 50, I think it was. I needed 100 synthetics. Thank God that is everywhere and always constantly available. Take all of you. All of you. Another couple of Just keep your eyes on the breeze. Anything floating by? There you go. There you go. You give me... Like five per go, so one more ought to do it. Except my inventory is chockers. I've got some dirty water. Hang on, let me chuck you into there. At the moment, weirdly, hydration is my biggest issue. Chuck in the viewing corner there, and another one on this side. Nice little bubble down below. Do I have enough to make three more? It would be nice, actually. If you could just, like, chuck the ladders anywhere, you didn't have to actually build, like, a square with a ladder in it. We're in pretty cool to... Oh, maybe I could, actually... No, because it'd be off-center. It'd be unsymmetrical, and symmetricality means everything. I was going to say, maybe I could just, like, make, like, a 3x3 a three three with, like, the corners all being windows, but that would look silly and annoying. So instead, I'll just go, like, a bit of a... No, a bit of a rectangle. I'm missing some glass. A relatively rare resource, actually, I'm being honest with you. I've taken every last shard I could find, and I'm still lacking... I think that's the last of my glass I got, but I'm using it for good reasons. If I can get as many windows as possible down here, I'll be very happy about it. Uh, viewing corner on that side. 
Just like that. And then do I have enough? Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Do I have enough for... I'm oh, missing synthetics. And one shard of glass. If I had one more shard of glass, I could turn all these into windows. Oh, no. It's so close. It would have been perfect. Just going to bring her back to this little platform over here to do some reconstruction. Because if that's the way it's going to be, little doll, I'm like riding on horses. I also don't like this, but I think that's just because... Is that because I have like... Oh! Um... Oh, no, I picked up the bed. I was going to say, I thought I just destroyed my bed. I'm lacking some more uh, synthetics, but it was because I'm just using scaffolding. You can see the glass through it. But what I'm thinking is if I uh, disassemble all of what I just built, that entire uh, bedroom area underneath and rebuild it one block further up to them, it'll suit this a bit more because the window is there and the window is underneath on the same level. But also won't sit out the ass over this end because i kind of want that to be where the engines are although now to look at it from up above i don't particularly hate it plus better look up at the engines over here would be kind of cool oh i'm not sure i'm not sure i do kind of like having you hung back a little bit now you know what you know what sort of i like this enough this is staying Gonna put down, oh Jesus, the storm rages outside. I'm gonna put down another door gun over here in case, well, in case there's some stuff over that side I need. I now have two, one on each wing. Quickly drop on down to here where things are a little bit rough. Getting in and out of this joint might actually be a bit difficult. I might have to consider that. Potentially, I'll be able to save some. Mm, might be able to uh, save myself some glass by making one of these doors, and this is how I get in and out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but for now. Get my bed. Put your... Oh, what's the way you want to go, actually? I reckon the head facing the ship so you can, like, have your feet forward. Put you in. Look at that. Look at that. Where else would you rather sleep? I mean, maybe back here so you're looking up at the sky, but that would get very warm around the engines. Speaking of engines, I've gone around and grabbed all the ones that I can. Uh, I'm not really docked at the moment, so potentially pulling off my... My only forms of movement isn't a great plan. I might chuck them down first before I do that. But you, I just want to stack engines like that. How low can I go with you, actually? And, like, inside the V, in that little nook of the bracing there. So, grab you. Grab another engine. Do you fit up the top? You do, too. Another couple of engines just notched inside there. Lovely. Do the other side. One more engine, please, and put you just like that. It's going to cost me an arm and a leg in fuel, but have you seen the Bowser prices these days? It's just normal. I actually think... Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I need to better refuel these things. I could. I could put it like you. I'm not sure if I can do it with the bottom one, though. Are you going to let me? I can stick you just straight to the glass. That's maybe not the wisest decision. I'm going to take you back again, see if I can chuck one directly smack, day, smack bang even right in the guts like you. Stick another one kind of next to you like that. So if I can put like doors here and maybe a catwalk over the top of that so it looks a bit more sensible, I can walk out a door here, refuel it that way and not fall to my death. That's just smart. That's just smart by me. Get you all lined up, put you in the middle then. And for that one, can I put you like in the middle like you? Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Look at that. Managed to squeeze all four engines up above so I can walk out here if I need to. Do all the refueling. It's not particularly safe, but it won't actually let me chuck any catwalks down in here. It says cannot place inside. I'm pretty obviously not inside, but sure game, whatever. Can I put a railing in then? Ooh, it... Yes, but no. I don't, I, well, uh, I want to put you like, that's, that's not quite the railing I had in mind. That's not super going to help me. Right. Okay. Never mind then. Uh, what else can I build then? Can I build myself another glass window? I can. No, but I had that page for down here though. I need my, uh, my little bedroom and have as much windows as possible. That's the whole reason for this bit. You know what? I need glass. Where am I going to find some glass? Can I like zoom in on you? Not really. I did see a couple of lights around. 
I don't have any fuel in my engines, actually. That's going to be rather difficult to fly anywhere. But to go and refuel you. You can have another metal floor, though, so you can hide all of the shame underneath. You need a little bit more plastic. Hold on. Grab you and you. I like that there's so many all over the place, so I'd never run out. Whack in another metal floor. Nice, Gary. All right, we're slowly starting to get it together. I'm just going to track down where I've left all my fuel tanks and chuck them back in. I'm getting real rowdy with my decisions for my airship. Yep, that'll do nicely. I've got another turbine just in here. I'm going to put you like that. How I get back onto there? I don't. Can I? Can I walk across the salad treaders and get back onto my ship? I don't necessarily know if I can. I'm getting thirsty. I'm getting tired. Things aren't looking spectacular, but I mean, this is. Look at this bad boy, out freaking standing. I could almost make that jump if I needed to, but I'm gonna try this. Easy. Yep. No. Nope. Ow! Okay, I mildly broke my leg. I'm okay. All my stats are bad. All my stats are bad. Hmm. How do I get back up there? Now that I'm back on board, let's just quickly get up into the air with my four turbines working away behind me. Jeez, I can really get some pace going now. Right, I need to find my lure has caught something. Get up out of the storm so I can see. I need to find some more blinking lights so that not that one, so that I can go and get myself some more glass. Like, I can't turn off the white lights, but there should be an orange light out here somewhere. I think I left one back over that way, I think it was. Yeah, back the way I came, I passed up an orange light. All right, let's just start going that way then. You just start heading off in this direction. I'm going to put autopilot on like that so I can go and set about getting myself not dying. There's a lot to do. Holy shit, look at the pace on us now. Oh, we 60 clicks an hour. I am balking it. All right, well, while the wind is flapping our cheeks like a dog hanging out the window, let's grab another couple of you on the old cheeky drive-by. Go on, game. Don't lose. There it is. Don't lose me now. Jump back on the controls. I do need to take a nap, but we'll have to wait for that one. Swing her about. Get some more shards of glass. And, oh, God, we're moving way too quick. The game's struggling. It doesn't look like there's a heap of glass here, but there is at least some. Uh, I'm going to put you down. Jeez, I, oh, I might have to put some like, more glass panels or something in here so I can see where the dick I'm aiming my uh, landing pad. <laughs> Just bonk it down. What's the worst that could happen? Quickly, nom a cheeky boiled, what should we call it? A dust moth? How are you? How are you looking down here? Yeah, nah, perfect. Except that the doors are on the other side. Shit. I think I, I think I just have to go like this. Go in here, get rid of you, so I can actually get in and out. This might be a way better way of doing it, but that is for after a nap. That's probably the best call, isn't it? I think I'm just being done by not doing it initially. If I put a door in like you, that goes straight onto the ladders, so it makes sense to have another door on that side. Still got my little ogling area over here. That's all good. And then window wall like you. So this is still like the bedroom, but also kind of the access point. That's all fine. How are we looking? How is my starship looking? Freaking fantastic. There's another data card in here. What are you going to give me? Amber, amber storage rack? Store... Storage rack? Storage always gets me excited. I mean, I haven't even explored the whole world yet, so I haven't got all of the schematics yet, but... I mean, look, I've been working with a whole bunch of shoeboxes stacked on top of each other like I'm the world's most enthusiastic converse wearer. But instead, if I could get, like, a better storage system, I am all about it. Nothing else left in you. That's fine. I'll cheeky check anything else around here. Mm. Couple of melons that I will actually leave behind because to be honest with you, I just, they just make lures and I don't have the space for them. Anything good in you? Just a bunch of extra nothings. All right, that's all fine. That's all gravy. I'm mostly here for water and knowledge. I think it would actually look really good if I put some railings on the outside out here like you. That used all of my uh, all my synthetics, but it looks fine to me. Quickly whack you out of there so you're nice and good. Just so when I do go traipsing about out here, potentially even a railing or something. Need some more synthetics for that one too. Look at them all out there. I mean, that's the entryway for to might even... You know what? No, this will be fine. You, come with me. Get rid of you. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Open you and do the same on this side. Catwalk. I hate that I can't, like... 
There you go. It's real nice to look out the side and try and place you. You go there. You go there. That's much nicer. I love the way this is all coming together. I've gotten all of the all of the glass out of you. The beacon's also off, so Gondor's not coming for aid. Okay, is that going to be enough to put in the windows that I want to put in? Although now that I've changed the design, I think actually the downstairs area is completely done, except for maybe a couple of floor pieces. Metal floor. Still need synthetics for that, but that's okay. Running out of metals as well. Jeez, I'm burning through this. There's another orange light directly ahead of me, so I'm going to chuck on the autopilot again and get cruising. Oh, look at that. We've even got some, like, speed vapors going on now. That's the pace that we are flying. I mean, it's a little bit too fast for me to actually grab any of the gubbins that are going past, so that's a bit of a shame. They're all very far away. Look at this. <laughs> Maybe four engines was too much, but I'm loving it. I'm loving the pace on us. We're already here. Look at that glass. Glass. Give me the glass. In fact, you know what? Look at that. Look at that. Like a daisy chain. We go this one, that one, that one, and then we're into the big scary place over there that I'm yet to go. Need to the cool bloody base before I did. Oh, it's all ahead of me. It's all ahead of me. Putting in my metal floors down on the bottom. That all looks nice and lovely. I wish I had more furniture or whatever to chuck in here so it felt a little bit more fleshed out. But you know what? I'm already stoked with how everything's already coming together. What was that thing I picked up though? The amber storage. No, you're not in there. Maybe I just already have the schematic for it to begin with. No, nothing there. Where... I definitely grabbed something. I'm confused by that. Do I need to be like holding materials for it to show up? Like if I grab a couple of you, maybe a couple of you or whatnot, just things that I wouldn't think I'd normally have on me just to open up the recipe. But that would seem a little bit silly if that was the case. We'll grab the resin. Got any polymers around? We'll grab those as well because I want to see what that cool new storage thing was, but I've lost it already. I actually don't have any more polymers anywhere. I'm going to have to go and hit up a couple of like the plant stations, which there's one over there actually. Storm is coming. Storm is coming. All right, say less. Let's just quickly let's drop a little bit. I'm going to that joint right there anyway. We're going to hit a couple of those planter stations to get some plant oil out of there. That's going to have to wait. That's going to have to wait. I can't find. Oh, that's really low actually. Oh, I forgot I've got like, the whole belly of the beast under there. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I flew my glass bedroom directly into some shards of metal. That wasn't particularly clever. Get your docked up there. How you looking? How you looking? Are you still okay? You still all right down here? I doubt it. Let's have a... Oh, that's getting real dicey. A little look at you. Repair you. Everything else here seems to be relatively okay. All right, that wasn't clever. Nah, even with a bunch of materials on me, I can't I can't research anything new. I can't build anything new. I'm kind of just shit out of luck. That's the interior box, and there's nothing in there. So I must need more uh, polymers, which means I will need to go and have a gander at one of the planty boys somewhere out there. But before I do that, I've got this daisy chain going. I've got this one, and then, ooh, a question mark right next to me, actually, which is... Probably one of those somewhere I haven't been before. Very interesting. So I'll go, I'll raid where I'm currently stationed to go bonk, 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 and then out to the vines that are very scarily positioned out there somewhere that I can no longer see. I mean, you can kind of see them flashing out in the distance over there. That's definitely waiting for me. Oh, out over yonder. But I'll have to go and do all those things in another episode because that's been. A lot of progress. I've now built myself this ridiculously good ship that I'm kind of need to move a little bit forward so I can get out and actually have a gander out. That'll do. Gently plonk you down. There you go. We're now anchored. And I'm just going to go straight out the side. Yep, like that. Perfect. Look at you. Look at how big you are. You were a small fry before. Now you're this honking, stonking great thing. Love it absolutely love it. But I'll have to come back and continue the build and explore my way through the skies in Forever Skies in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.